The clock is ticking. Right now, you have less than two weeks to file your taxes. And it is this time of year where we start to see scammers preying on those in a hurry to meet that tax filing deadline. Tin Tampa Bay's Malik Rankin shares what you need to know to protect your money and your identity. For a lot of people, if they get a call, email, or any kind of communication from the IRS, it might cloud their better judgment. I got an email from a recruiter from the IRS and it seems sort of suspicious to me. Katie Hanley says the fake recruiter asked her to send over a lot of personal information before even applying to the job listing. And they said that they needed things like my driver's license, my social security number for like tax reasons. The Better Business Bureau says one of the more commonly reported scams at this time of year, IRS impersonation scams. Their two goals are to either get money from you or steal your personal information. Have you click on a link, fill out personal information, give up your social security number, and that is the end game of these scammers. The IRS will never reach out to you through text, email, or social media asking for your personal or financial information, even if you miss the tax deadline. Uh, they're always gonna mail you something if you owe money, and if they do contact you, they're gonna allow you to verify who they are. For Hanley, she's been scammed out of thousands of dollars previously. Now, her guard is up. No one ever expects to be scammed, and unfortunately, you could lose a lot of money and you could also lose your identity in the process. When in doubt, the BBB recommends you take a pause, verify who is reaching out to you, and don't be in a rush to respond. In Pinellas County, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. And that is such good advice because mm -hmm. taking that extra time to verify who is reaching out, that will end up saving you time and money. Yeah, last year the IRS received more than 294,000 identity theft complaints.